Hello friends, I'm sure we all have an understanding, an intuitive understanding of what sound is. For me, sound is just something that helps me hear. There are so many kinds of sounds going all around us. You are hearing me through the video. Now in this chapter and the topics that we will be covering, we are going to focus on sound but more from a science perspective, right? So let us go and look at the different topics that we will be covering in this chapter. First, we look at what actually is sound? How can we define it from a science perspective? And an equally important part is how does sound really get produced? What produces sound? Then we look at the second aspect. Once the sound is produced, how does it travel from the source to the receiver? The receiver is the human ear because we all hear sound through our ears. So how does sound propagate? We'll just look at the basic idea of sound propagation. And then when we learn about propagation, you will actually find out that sound travels as waves. And that's where we put on our scientist hats and start looking at the different properties of the sound waves. We look at the you know requirement of a medium for the sound waves to travel. We also try to look at important characteristics of sound waves such as frequency, amplitude and the speed of sound waves. And once we look at that we will also try to understand whether the speed of sound in different medium like solids, liquids and gases, is it same or is it different? Once we study the sound waves, then we look at the reception part. So we look at production first, then we look at propagation, then we look at the third part which is the reception. Now in reception, essentially it is the human ears, right? So we will look at the structure of the human ear then we will look at the process by which the human ear can uh, in interpret the sound waves and you know send it to the brain and so that we can make some sense out of it then we also look at another important aspect is there are different kinds of sound waves and not all of them can be detected by the human ear so we look at differences between audible sounds and other non-audible sounds that is which the human ears cannot hear like the infrasounds and the ultrasound. Then we look at another important phenomena that is observed in relation to sound and that is known as reflection. So we will look at how sound is reflected. We will look at two important uh, you know uh, phenomena like echo and reverberation. What do they mean? And we also see what are the kind of applications of this reflection phenomena of the sound. And then we also spend some time looking at some important applications of the ultrasound. And we'll also look a little bit about sonar, what sonar is and how it is used. So to give you a really, really quick high level one line statement of what we are going to do well we will look at production of sound we will look at how it propagates we will look at how it receives and we will look at the applications so production propagation reception and application and then the rest all are the details that we will cover in different videos so that was a real quick overview of all the topics that we are going to cover in this chapter now do remember to subscribe to online Parshala channel so that you can get the latest updates on the videos as and when they are uploaded. Wishing you good luck. See you soon.